Thank you very much indeed, Chairman, and it's a pleasure to serve under your chairmanship, Mr Gray. May I first thank the petitioners, my honourable friend, the member for Stoke-on-Trent North, and of course the around 600 people in my constituency who've signed these petitions. I'm pleased that MPs have the opportunity to, dis to discuss the petitions today, but I would like to focus my speech on two main aspects. The first, calling for schools and colleges to close during COVID due to COVID-19, and second, the call to cancel examinations. While I pre appreciate the arguments of colleagues, I am not supportive of closing schools or colleges. School closures are incredibly damaging to young people, to their education, health and mental well-being, and so must only be used as a last resort. I am very grateful for the best efforts of teachers and parents during this pre the previous closures to provide high-quality remote learning, as well as in-house learning for vulnerable children and children of key workers earlier in the year. We owe our teachers in particular an immense debt of gratitude as they have worked tirelessly right through the year to support students, often going beyond teaching, to ensure that emphasis is placed on young, the young people's well-being. However, the period of partial school closures will inev inevitably have led to many children, especially those from disadvantaged backgrounds, falling behind. And we cannot put the futures of our young people at risk. There is simply no substitute for face-to-face -face learning for those at a young age. And so I will continue to support the government in keeping schools and colleges open. It is also the case that while inev inevitably there have been COVID outbreaks in schools, these have often been controlled thanks to the collaboration between national and local government and schools. There is also clear evidence that children are much less susceptible to the damaging effects of COVID-19. And ONS data identifies teachers as a low-risk profession. This in part, thanks to the moment, moment, sorry, monumental even, um, efforts of schools over the last few months <laughs> to ensure their facilities are COVID-19 secure. I know that this has not been easy to implement and maintain new safety measures, and I would like to thank all managerial, administrative and teaching staff for their hard work. In particular, I would like to mention Cobden Primary School in my constituency, as during a recent vi visit, I saw firsthand the lengths they have gone to to keep their children and, um, and staff safe, whilst ensuring education is impacted on as little as possible. Rawlins Academy have also done a fantastic job with this. However, the school has found it more difficult than others due to the limited space they have and the nature of their facilities. The school, staff and is, the school staff and head, most especially, have done their utmost to reduce the impact on education. But there have been cases where bubbles within the school have been... This is far from ideal, and I raised this specific case with the Education Sec Secretary recently. Therefore, instead of closing schools, which only hinders school social mobility, widens the disadvantage gap and places a burden on working parents, we should continue to work with them to ensure they have the resources and infrastructure they need to safely accommodate students and teachers, either on site or supplement their current facilities with additional local buildings and resources should this be necessary. And I would ask the Minister to look at the specific case of Rawlins Academy in Loughborough on this issue. On the matter of exams, I am not in favour of cancelling them. In my view, we would be denying the child the moment to demonstrate all they have worked for and achieved and give them the confidence to progress further. However, I do think we should look to see what adaptations could be made to aid schools in delivering the examination timetable should social distancing still be in place next summer. I am pleased to understand that the Minister is looking at this matter and ask her to consider what steps can be taken to secure examinations in 2021 and provide consistency and a firm plan for pupils. Thank you.